Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a sunset gradient using sweet and sour lacquer polishes and I'll be stamping on it. I started off with Neltique's Formula 2 and Drip Drop Nail Polish called Tidy Whities and I topped it off with Posh Top Coat. And I'm going to be using a wetted down sponge and here are the sweet and sour lacquers. Mmm, donuts. I'll be in my room and I caramba. And I have topped it off with Northern Lights after the gradient. And I'll be using the Posh again. <laughs> I'll also be using some liquid latex today. So I've got a dampened makeup sponge that I've cut in half. And I have um, proceeded to uh, start applying these polishes. Starting with the yellow and then the orange and then the pink. And I'm just going to do rounds of this until I get it opaque enough on my nail to my satisfaction. And on my thumb, since it's so short, I was trying to be very careful going in so that I could make sure to get some of all the colors on there. I wanted at least a little bit of the yellow on it. And I'm just dabbing it and I'm reapplying more polish. Every, every once in a while, you have to do that when you do gradients. And I do have the new stamping plate that has the negative space to where you could do the gradient on the stamping plate. And I have done that recently, so I decided to go back to the old school way of doing this. And I'm just tapping it all in. I have sped this video up to, you know, make it go a little faster because gradients do take a little while. Um, these polishes are really great for gradients because they blend really nice. You don't have a stark line um, going across your nail. I really do like these and they water marble like a dream. And no, I'm not sponsored by Sweet and Sour Lacquer. I just really enjoy them. And we're getting there. It's starting to get, get, get to the uh, opacity that I want. I want it to look really bright and, and blingy. I'm just tapping it and kind of going side to side and I'm trying to pay attention to those side walls because normally after I get done doing a gradient that's the spot I would miss I'm trying to get I'm trying to get all the way over there and I love this manicure I could wear this without any stamping it's just beautiful just the way it is but I, I actually am doing this manicure it was a request that Angel from Angel's Heavenly Nails had asked me a long time ago to do and I wrote it down in my book and um, we're doing it today so thank you Angel I appreciate the suggestion she wanted to see she had seen like a picture of another manicure using these polishes and a gradient and she really wanted to see them with the yellow flipped up to the cuticle and some palm tree stamped on it so we're gonna fulfill her wish today and with it being summer I knew that this would be a great time to do this manicure so as you can see even though I have sped this up quite a bit it still takes a little while to do a gradient and they're almost screaming now they're so opaque beautiful and I'm stuck together with my latex so we're gonna go in and break that off and start peeling this latex off of my fingertips. Time to do a little bit of cleanup. It's being honorary. If that's okay, I will win. I will beat the latex. over me it's all over me get me get it off get it off get the latex off <laughs> oh, what a mess but it would be even more of a mess if I didn't use the latex believe me I've done that before it's not pretty it'll make you never want to do another one <laughs> gotta have tape latex or something some kind of barrier and I'm going to go in with some tape, kind of like I do when I'm stamping, and I'm just going to pull up some of that dried excess polish that's just kind of hanging out, making me crazy. 
and there is a little bit of residual latex still around so I'm going to try to get all that up too and this works really well these polishes just dry really fast doing them this way so it dried up around my cuticles quite a, quite a bit so there we go I'm gonna go in and do some final cleanup with my cleanup brush look how gorgeous that is I love it just like that but I'm not gonna leave it alone you know I can't I have to mess with it I have to do something and right now they're kind of matte looking and I do like the look of that but I am gonna put a glossy top coat on it I've got a couple of places that when I did my cleanup, it pulled up the yellow a little bit back by my cuticle, and I don't want to see the white polish underneath. So I'm going to go in with this little cleanup, br or cleanup brush, this little nail art brush, and I'm just going to kind of paint in anywhere where the white's sticking out because I that's a pet peeve. I just can't, you know, you don't want to put this much time. An effort into a manicure and then be seeing the white undies the tidy whiteies sticking out from underneath so I'm gonna go in and fix that real quick and I'm just gonna get carried away and just do it to all of them why not so see accidents can be fixed I'm gonna top it off with northern lights I love this over this particular gradient. I think Northern Lights and this just go hand in hand. They're just gorgeous together. And you can see now that it's getting shiny, it's just kind of making that polish look like a whole different animal. I love it. Like I said, I would have just worn this by itself, but I had, I had a mission to complete. There we go. Very pretty. Very nice. We're going to top it off. And I know that's a top coat, but I'm still going to top it off with some posh top coat because I want a nice thick layer of something between me and that manicure I have just created so that if I mess up while I'm stamping, I can remove the stamping without having to redo the whole manicure. That and it just makes it nice and smooth, a nice glossy surface to do my stamping on. Gotta break out Woody. He's gotta get involved. Always. Every manicure. He's always there right by my side. And we're capping those ends to seal that in. And here we go. We're gonna do some stamping. I've got my Born Pretty Scraper. My Nicole Diary NS02. Bundle Monster 506. Winstonia W106. Bundle Monster 510 and Bundle Monster 315. And I'm just going to use images off of all these plates. They're all palm trees or lighthouses or, you know, and I'm just going to plop designs down on all of my beautifully gradient fingertips here. We're just going to put these in. And I do think it just makes the manicure pop. And, you know, of course, I probably went overboard again because that's what I do. That's okay. It's a summer manicure. You're supposed to get wild. Here we go. We're going to use that same image we used on our thumb. I'm going to use that on my pointer finger. And it's kind of an open palm tree. I kind of like that. And then I'm going to use this tall, skinny lighthouse. I didn't want to just use palm trees. I wanted to put some other beach kind of looks in on it. So you got a, you know, a tree and a lighthouse. And then we're going to go in with some double palm trees here on my middle fingernail. And then a single. And I do like that they're all different. They're kind of different shapes, different, you know. There we go. And this is like a full design I'm using on my accent fingernail. And it's not long enough, so I'm going to have to do some double stamping 
um, try to get some of those waves, but it's like waves and a lighthouse and it shows the lights kind of shining out from the top of the lighthouse. I thought that one was really cool. And here we go. Time to line them up. Deep breath. Are we going to be able to do it? Yes. Very good. Alrighty, so we're going to get rid of that plate and break out this other one for this other little bitty image. And this is just the double palm trees again. Really love that. We're going to do our little tape cleanup trick and try to get some of that up. It's a lot easier, I think, with the tape than clean up with acetone. I always smear the black stamping polish just all over my fingertips. So today we're going to top this one off with posh top coat and seal that design in and make it shine. And I would like to thank Angel for Angel's Heavenly Nails for suggesting this beautiful manicure. She had asked for it a while back and I am so happy that I finally got around to doing this one. Capping that end and break out Woody. Do a little bit of cleanup. And there we go. There they are. Beautiful. So happy with this one. Here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.